Hi, this is Darren Lyle. Well, we've already finished the inside of the mouth and the tongue. I guess what we should do is work on the teeth now. Um, the teeth are really just um, cubes that um, we kind of shape and place into the mouth. A lot of cartoon characters have just kind of half cylinders that's put up into the top and the bottom of the mouth. Uh, but we're actually going to create individual teeth. But to do that, we really need the gums. We need to be able to place the teeth into the gums. So let's take a look first at how we might create the gums. Um, for this character, though, you know, what might be easier is if we were to separate out the mouth from the rest of the body. Then we'd have a little more wiggle room, I guess to work. So what let's do is let's take a look up into the body here and I'm going to select that row of faces and use control plus to bring that selection up and I want to bring it right up to the back of the lips here. Now that we have that inner mouth selected, what I want to do is split it off. So I think I'll just press the P key and separate it by the selection right here. Now that should be a whole other piece. Let's take a look. So if I go inside here and select that, that is indeed a whole other piece. So now I should be able to press Shift H and hide everything but the inside of the mouth. All right, so that's good. The gums, I think, should be these faces here. Let's take a look at this. Or maybe this selection of faces here on the top, as well as this selection of faces on the bottom. Now if I go to my side view here and I extrude and I immediately go then to my scale tool, I'm going to scale these in the Z so they move down and up towards each other and begin to uh, flatten out. The, the, the reason why I'm doing this, why I'm pulling them together is to flatten them out. I don't want them to actually touch because then I wouldn't be able to select individually the top or the bottom. So now that I've got that, I need to come back and just select the top and then pull that back up just a hair like so. And now I need to select the bottom and do the same, pull that back down, like so. Now we've got the gums for the top and the bottom. The problem is, is we can't see the gums. We need to insert the teeth into there, but we can't see what's happening. So what I need to do actually is just delete this row of faces. And you may be thinking, well, if you delete that row of faces, how are you going to connect the mouth back up with the head? Well, ultimately, what I'll do is simply um, combine the two objects again or, or, or join them and then uh, bridge the two edges back together. So actually, it's going to be fairly easy. So I'll just delete these faces. And now we can see the gum the way we've created them here. And now we can insert the teeth into them. I'm going to grab this and just move this up and over just a bit. Okay, so there are our gums. And now let's start working on the teeth. So the first thing I want to do is make the front incisor, the large tooth in the middle on the top. So I'm going to press the T key to get the tools panel and go to create and I'm going to create a cube. 
And this cube will be our first tooth. I'm going to scale it so it's a little bit flatter and a little bit narrower. And then I'm going to insert an edge loop here in the middle. Let me uh, now add a modifier, subsurface modifier. There we go. And now we're just beginning to see the shape of the tooth here. So let's say I'm going to pull that out. Something like that. And maybe the center of the tooth should bend out a bit. Kind of like that. So that's going to be our front tooth. And maybe I'll bring this in just a little bit. Okay. So now that I've got that, I want to smooth it. So under the Tools tab, I just want to click on Smooth. All right. So there we have our first tooth. Let's take it up into place. All right. <laughs> it's a little big there. Awkwardly placed, but you get the idea. Now we're going to take this tooth and this will be the first tooth that we'll begin to make a few of the others off of. So now that I've got that first tooth, I can use that tooth to duplicate and work on the next one. So the, the next incisor is just a little smaller. It's pretty much the same shape, but it's just a little smaller than the first. So I'll scale that down just a hair. And then for the next tooth, I'm going to duplicate that and move it over. For the next tooth, that uh, canine is a little different. It's a little more pointed. So I'm going to scale this um, face down. And maybe I'll even, I don't know, scale this up just a bit, make it a little bit longer and yet a little narrower. All right, so now I'm going to move these into place now that I've got them pretty much the way I want them. So it really just needs a little bit of rotation and a little bit of moving. Okay, so now that we've got those in place, let's work on the premolar and molars. For this, I'm going to begin a whole new object. And once again, it's just going to be a cube. But this time, um, we need a couple more edge loops here. So I'm going to insert an edge loop here. And maybe insert an edge loop like this. And I'm probably going to need one here as well. And now let's go ahead and add a subdivision modifier here so we can see it smoothed. And I'll turn on smoothed here. And for this, I think all I really need to do is just take that center point and maybe just actually maybe all of these around here, these points here, and just pull them down a bit. And maybe even take these four points and move them up a bit. And that's all we really need. This is, you know, a cartoony character. I'm not going to get too involved here. And maybe I'll just scale these in just a bit. So that's what we get for our premolar slash molar here. Right, so now what we need to do, the great thing about this is all we need to do is just duplicate this for the molars now. So 
So now all we really need to do is just mirror our objects. So what I want to do is combine all of these teeth into one object or join them. So selecting them all and press Control J. So they're all one object. Uh, the next thing I want to do is make sure that this pivot point for this object is in the center um, of the grid. So what I can do is I think the uh, we can put the cursor in the center and then change the origin over here under the Tools tab. We can set the origin to be at 3D cursor. So now that the uh, pivot point is down at the cursor in the center of the grid, the last thing we need to do is just make sure there aren't any, there isn't any rotation applied to the object. So if I select that uh, teeth object um, and press the N key on the keyboard, I can look at the, the rotations of that object and I see that there's some rotations applied. So what I need to do is just zero these out so what I can do is press Control A and apply the rotations here. Now that I've done that, these are zeroed out. And so when I mirror the object, so if I select the object, oops, select the teeth, and let's add a modifier mirror. Now you can see they're mirroring across uh, along the x-axis around that center pivot, which is down here in the center of the grid. Okay, so I've got that. I'm going to go ahead and apply this. There we go. So now that is all one object. And let's call this uh, teeth top. And now let's mirror it again, um, but this time along the z-axis. So I select the teeth, add a mirror modifier. Now it doesn't look like anything's really going on, but what I'm going to do is change it to the z-axis, turn off x, and there are my new teeth. So now all I need to do is select these objects with the L key and I'm gonna split these out to be their own object. There we go, P selection. And now we should have the top teeth and the bottom teeth. And let me call these teeth bottom. So now I'll set the origin back to the geometry of the object and maybe move these back into the gums. So of course the bottom teeth are a little bit different than the top teeth. These front incisors aren't so big. So I can go in and just in face mode scale these down just a bit. Now usually the bottom teeth are a little bit farther back than the top teeth. Um, unless you've got a character that really requires that underbite thing. But there you go, that is how to create teeth um, for your cartoony character. Thanks for watching. Till next time.